Big hello from Letter People Land. Hello! Last time you'll remember, we were breaking words into two parts, and we met Chopper. Hail, hearty, and humble breaker of words. His newfound friend, Iggy, whose home is, of course, on the range. And Master, the keeper of the silly bull. His name has just been spoken, so there must be words to be broken. Pretty silly, eh? You'll notice that the word basket has been broken into two parts. As you see here, the word has been broken right between the consonants. S remaining with part one to provide cooperation so that A can use her short sound. And K, on the other hand, going on to start part two. As we join our heroes today, the master is about to receive an unexpected visitor. words that have three parts. Have you mastered the art of breaking words into two parts? Does not a baby crawl before it can hope to walk? Chopper! Master! Come in! <laughs> it's been so long, and yet it seems like only yesterday you left the society of the silly bull to teach other people how to break words into two parts. I traveled far and wide and broke many words. People started to call me the axe. Well, you may be the axe to other people, but you'll always be a little chopper to me. Thank you, Master. But why have you returned to the temple? To learn how to break words into three parts. Oh, chopper, chopper, chopper. Master, your tongue stuck? You already know how to divide words into three parts. I do? You do? I do? You have traveled the earth, breaking words into two parts, correct? All the way to Hoboken, New Jersey. Well, the rules for breaking words into two parts are the same for breaking words into three parts. I'm afraid I do not understand. Confusion says, man who does not understand is a confused man. Confusion, no dummy. If a word has one vowel that speaks, how many parts does the word have? One. Good. Now, what happens if there is more than one vowel in the word? It doesn't matter how many vowels are in the word. It mm. matters only how many vowels speak. Mm. If one vowel speaks, it is a one-part word. If two vowels speak, it is a two-part word. And if three vowels speak? It is a three-part word. You are a good student, Chopper. You listen very well. What was that, Master? Take this potato. Thank you, but I'm not hungry right now. Take this word, potato. Oh. How many vowels speak in potato? Potato. Potato. Three vowels speak. Therefore, there are three parts to the word. Now divide the potato. Do you want mashed or french fries? Chopper. Sorry, master. Potato. Po. The sound that we hear in the first part is O. Good. Does it have cooperation? It does not. There is only one consonant that follows the O. When that happens, the consonant moves on to start part two. And the O? It uses its long sound. So part one divides right here. 
You broke it. No, master, just a bad sprain. Not your hand, chopper, the word. Oh, the, yes. Po is the first part of the word. And what vowel sound do you hear in the second part of potato? Potato. Tay, the A sound, master. Only one consonant follows the A, so it moves on to begin the third part. And the A? It uses its long sound, and so the second part divides... Here! Yeah. Hmm, <gasps> you broke the second part. Uh, no, just another bad sprain, but one more whack, and I should have hand all broken up. I am talking about the potato. You hungry, master? The white potato. Oh, the white potato. Well, tay is the second part of the word potato. And the third part? The third part is toe. What vowel sound is heard? Potato. Toe, the O sound, master. And it uses its long sound since no cooperation can be found. So these are the three parts of the word potato. I think so, Master. Would you like to make sure? Yes, but... Good! Master, why are you opening the door to silly bull? So Bull could check our word. But don't you know if word is divided right? Yes, but it's more fun this way. This thing has just been spoken. So there must be words to be broken. Too late to explain. the same place you did. I did well? Very well, little chopper. What is that, master? Oh, sounds like Iggy, our new student. Iggy. I know that name from somewhere. Uh, what in the name of Hopalong Cassidy is going on around here? That bull almost ran into my cucumbers. Bull was helping Chopper break a potato. Well, you tell Chopper... Chopper... Chopper! Iggy... Chopper! Iggy! <laughs> Please tell me what's going on. Iggy and I met on Prairie many ages ago. And that's how I heard about your silly bull place. I never knew words could be broken till Chopper here broke a few for me. Chopper broke words for you? Yeah. Blush, my toothbrush, and three pictures of Tiny Tim. What are you doing at the temple? I want to learn how to break words. I figured if you can do it, Anybody can. And have you learned anything yet? Have I learned anything yet? Has he learned anything yet? Have you? Is he this cucumber? Yes. into three parts. Yeah, it would have been more, except there's only three vowels that speak in cucumber. Well done, Iggy. The first vowel that speaks is the U. Do something to me, something. Iggy. To... Uh, sure, your master, buddy. U makes what sound? Me? The letter U makes what sound? Oh, well, let's see. Only one consonant follows you, so that consonant shimmies on over to start the second part. And you is left alone with no cooperation. So, she uses her long sound. Correct. Now, what is the vowel sound in the second part? The second part, eh? Come. Come. The vowel is... You. You. Thanks, Chopper, old pal. 
What sound does it use? Uh, gum. It's short sound. Two consonants follow, but one stays to cooperate, and the other goes on to start part three. <laughs> Pretty good for an old bronco buster. If I get the next question right, do I win a prize? Yes. Yippee! What is it? A cucumber. A cucumber. Yeah, I'd rather give it to the bull. The vowel sound in the third part? Cucumber. Burr. Burr. Boy, that's a hard one. Chopper? I do not know, Master. E-R combined to make a special sound. Thank you, Master. You're welcome, Chopper. Iggy, do you still want the cucumber to eat? A cucumber? Yeah, give it to the bull. This thing has just been spoken. Spoken. So there must be what to be broken. But you want to come. Too late to explain. Cucumbers. Yeah, well, you can have all the cucumbers you want, because I'm riding out of here. You're leaving? Yeah, I'm tired of being used as a punching bag by that silly bomber of yours. But what about breaking words into parts? As long as I follow the rules for breaking words into three parts, I can break any word, right? Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Goodbye, Master. Chopper? Iggy? Master, I will go with him. Good, Chopper. And if you ever run into trouble breaking words, the bull will be there to help. Thank you, Master. Wait, Iggy. Uh, come on, before that bull comes. You should not have said that. This thing has just been spoken. So there must be what to be broken. But you want to come. Too late to explain. Bullseye. <laughs> 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 